What up, bots? Nah, I'm just kidding. What's good, guys? Not real here. You already know what it is. We got level up expo top eight right here. You got this bot over here, Chase versus Jazo. Sure, respectable fellow versus that drone over there using my character. We're going to get right into it. Ooh. Oh, I did actually hear that there was some like, you know, frame drop issues for this event and stuff like that. So if that happens in the audio or like you notice in the recording, I assure you, it's you. Now just playing. It, it might just happen. This top eight, I mean, it has these two players, uh, Louis Money, Capitan Cito on the other side of loser's bracket. Winner side is Tweak and Light and Sonics and Mew Ace. So, you know, you got some, there's some really... Really strong players in these top eights, or in this top eight specifically. Trying to see what's good with this, but Chase right now. Let me guys, let me give you guys some lore. Some of y'all who've watched my stream, y'all already know what it is like. How Chase is toxic player, unlike me. All I do is just radiate positivity vibes. But Chase, you know, I've been uh, trying to play. It takes two with Chase. My stream wanted to see a variety game. Did like a little poll thing. It takes two one and i was like let me play with somebody who's never played it before and chase never played it before we played one stream and then i was like all right yeah we'll finish this one one and a half weeks two weeks later still in the same portion of the game because chase is a smash player and let me tell you what that means that means that these guys suck at planning Dude comes up with every excuse in the book. I'm entering a Wi-Fi tournament. I got homework. Nah, okay, the homework part, you know, I, I'll excuse that one. Yeah, that's important. But I'm entering a Wi-Fi tournament. Bro, enjoy yourself. Play a different game. Enjoy yourself. What are you doing playing Wi-Fi tournaments? Granted, he did win one of them. But <laughs> I'm still over here waiting. I'm watching him play right here. I'm still waiting to continue my playthrough because it was a pretty fun game. He is never playing a co-op game with me after this. He better enjoy it. But anyways, enough yapping about that little lore. I already missed a whole stock, potentially two right now. Ken versus Palutena. I feel like Palutena wins this matchup, but anytime I watch it, like the Ken always does good. It's typically not a blowout for one person or the other. Oh, that's it. Oh, no down to short. Surprise. That's it. Okay. All right, well, I didn't get to watch too much of that match. Or the time that I watched, Chase didn't really get anything going. He didn't take a stock. And he looking stressed right now. I'm pretty sure he really... I mean, he hates probably any character that he loses any games against. But... Uh, oh, okay, he's going Steve. Okay. Chase does play all these, like, dumb, strong characters or, like, stronger than Palutena. And I'm like, why are you a Palutena main at this point? You know? Like, obviously, you don't have to drop her. But, like... If you if most of your time is like labbing up Steve stuff and like Aegis stuff and all that, then why aren't you playing them more and putting Palutena in the back burner? She is an easy character, so it's pretty hard to forget like any of her things. I wonder if he'll go Palu if he uh, loses this though. Oh, well, we'll see. He got two stock. He got no mats. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Bro turned into cra oh, uh, oh, you knew. Come on, Jazzo. He had no mats. You knew that's what he wanted. That's all he really could have done. He had like no materials. He had no iron to like side B, uh, to center stage. He's not gonna run up. The only thing he's gonna do is like a like an instant dash attack to pray that he could get back to center stage at that point. But he just gave him that. So we're seeing Jazzo go for some of these hits. Then canceling into the specials on these blocks. Oh, is this going to be enough? Jesus. No, just tacking on that. String quality going, going crazy right now. Ryan trying to hold shield. Understanding up air is probably on his way back down. Nice. There's the up tilt. Whoa, right into the Oh, no. Don't air dodge. You gonna get it done oh, you don't. Jazzo. You don't want to air dodge there. You That's don't right, want to air dodge. You should always That's assume that the Ken is not going to drop the combo. Or like whenever you get hit by a combo in this game. Obviously, sometimes there's like 50 50s and stuff. But that wasn't a 50 50. That was just like, you know, oh, if you if you air dodge, I'm going to hit you for even more damage. And this will kill as opposed to just doing the sequence that he wanted to do. It seems like every time they transition to the gameplay, the gameplay itself lags for like the first couple seconds and then it's back to normal. Right now, Chase is getting slapped up. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Oh, well, I mean, he, he should be dead. Just back here. Absolutely 
See, like, even though he ended up getting hit by that up B with that back air, he still ended up getting the stock. Like, I feel like back air is better in those scenarios. There will be times where, yeah, you could do runoff Nair if they're, like, extremely high percent and you know for a fact that the Nair is going to kill. But, like, oh, just do it. <laughs> Stop jumping, bop. Y'all already know it, it's, like, a golden rule at this point that if I watch a top eight and my characters feature on it, they're not winning the set. They could win a game and maybe win two games, you know, but they never win. I might, I might as well main like Sonic, so I already know for a fact my character is going to win. <laughs> what the heck? A taunt. The commentators didn't even realize he taunted. He uses a pro controller, so he must have been like dead. He's dead. There's, I, I swear there's like pro controller players who like, they say like their taunt comes out sometimes when they're playing. They're just mashers. I'm just going to be honest. You're, you're mashing. You're mashing so much that you're pressing the taunt button somehow. Oh no. Oh no. 60% just like that. Yeah, it's not looking good. Jazzo just looks honestly very comfortable in this matchup. But most, most top players look very comfortable against Palatina at this point. She's still really good, though, of course. But, like, you're not going to catch somebody off guard. Oh, I missed the back air. Ooh. I'm actually surprised that connected. One up tilt. That's it. I'm just surprised that that heavy jab, like, came out. Some of the up tilts that he landed were, like, really high up. So, like... I thought the heavy jab proximity wouldn't come out in some of those like heavy jab story use, but hey, that's not that's not my that's not my main. I don't know the ins and out of 100 of that 100 of that character, but I do use it for stream on stream for fun. But good shit to Jazo, quick 3-0 right there. Honestly, just comfortable throughout every game. What was it? Was that a triple two two stock? Oh, no, no, I think game two against the Steve was a one stock, but he got grabbed. So it's like, okay. Anyways, good stuff, though, to Chase getting seventh place. It said his tag is 2B. I'm never calling you 2B. All right. Anyways, we move on. Here we go. Here we go. The next set. The next set of uh, losers bracket. Capitan Cito, me gunner. Maybe some people don't know about him. He is from Dominican Republic. Uh, I know how, uh, what you call it. He doesn't have the Dominican flag right there, but he is from DR. Oh, up smash, a, a functioning up smash. If Samus had that, that Samus would be top tier. But I mean, Samus is already stupid, so we don't need that. <laughs> but here we go, Louis Money versus Capitan Cito. I will say that this matchup should definitely be in Palutena's favor, like like character gap level, like winning matchup, where Palutena just does stuff. And should win, but obviously, obviously, this is top level where you need to still know matchups. Even if your character wins the matchup, you still need to know what the hell to do, why your character wins the matchup. I have no idea if, if Louis Money knows what a, a me gunner is. Maybe I won't. Maybe I don't know what a me gunner is, but I play me gunner enough to understand what they want and their game plan and stuff like that. So, also, th this set, no matter what, is a W for me. Either Palutena wins, which is like unheard of whenever I watch the top eight, or DR stays on top. <laughs> oh, he actually read that roll in. He's getting clapped right now. What's going on? No. Oh, should have just dash attack. That should almost kill. Nice. Caught him with the last hit of Nair. Almost didn't kill, by the way, but like I think it only killed because uh, Capitan Cito might have just held back in that last moment to the, to avoid that. That was not a good auto reticle. Even if the auto reticle detected the uh, the me gunner, the neutral B would have just deleted those beams. Wow, the neutral B still would have kept going. If the neutral B is charged up enough, it just like overwhelms the other projectiles or some other projectiles in this game. Including auto reticle. Auto reticle is not really strong. Really, really strong when they have the lead, but when they don't have the lead, it's a little harder for them to apply pressure. Yeah, when, if Me Gunner has this kind of lead, Me Gunner must, might feel like the best character, low key. <laughs> it's just like 
tilting to get hit. Really, really quick with that. Really Make this comeback. This comeback is going to be crazy if he gets this. Oh, if he up aired, that would have been fire. But doesn't need to. Jesus, that was just light work. He's smirking. He's like, I know what I did. I'm cooking. So far, I'm 0 and 3 with my character. Stinger in the background, man. Dang, level up. You level already up. know. Well, Charles, you you said look at that clean, like whatever in the background, right? But why aren't they on stage? It's like flashing a whole bunch of stuff, but they're like playing next to a stage. That's kind of weird. I thought he was gonna F smash, but you know that works too. And now this game is just evenly matched, honestly. All right, I should probably be, be talking more about like what Palutena should do in some of these moments and stuff. Two frame? Ooh, missed the two frame, but probably expect it. See, that's one of those moments that like people roll immediately after grabbing the ledge because they're anticipating to tech the stage. Like, oh, especially Palutena players because, you know, it's very easy to two frame Palutena. Um, so, uh, mo more often than not, the Palutena is going to press the shield button but if they don't get two frame it might buffer a roll as soon as they grab the ledge so you always got to keep that in mind for characters like that that are easy to two frame they're almost always ready to tech and sometimes it misses but it buffers the roll in afterwards and then you can just get a real punish there as well as the other player okay this is not too bad drop that combo though it definitely should have got a, a clean 50 percent from that still got the ledge trap going coming back through with the nair Oh, okay, a nair instead of just a back air. Okay, another back air. Got the lead. Run off nair. Louis, what are you doing? Okay, down throw. That's not going to work at this percent. Us, let the up smash rip a little too early. Not bad. Not, not a bad attempt. Oh, my God. That would have been crazy. Or, like, if that ended up costing him where it missed. There's that up tilt, though, once again. Woo. Turn around up tilt. Okay. Good. And then narrowly escaping another explosive flame. How does he keep okay. doing it? Turn around dash attack. Up here. Okay. Lion. Not a lot of space to run. Can't play the oh my God. personal game though. Try to show his hand with the last kill. hit jitters. Money has him off stage. That's He's it. No, 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 no. This, this shouldn't be it because five Nair, we still yeah. in it. Grab. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's pressing. He's mashing. He's mashing. He's panicking. Great shield oh, he actually got that. Wow. Okay, an explosive flame. Dude actually went full screen. <laughs> full screen away. Explosive flame, but I, I don't think Capitan Cito just expected it. Normal get up into a consistent hitbox. It is, I think it's possible to actually shield in the middle of that because, like, you know, like it's not like active every fr single frame, but you shouldn't still gamble that because, like, the timing of it is very likely going to overcome you pressing a shield. We got a set first game for Palu. You, you love to see it. It wasn't looking too good in the beginning of the set. Might be realizing that, you know, th that uh, Palu is not that bad of a character. <laughs> that. You know, me, me Gunner is weird. It's like, me Gunner is like, okay of a character. Like, you really gotta just understand, like, how to combo them as well. Because it doesn't look like they're, like, heavy. But sometimes when you're comboing them, it just feels like you're comboing, like, a heavy character. Like a Shoto and stuff like that. So, comboing them, getting to know, like, their moves. Like, that, for example, that up B that, that Capitan Cito is using does not have a hitbox on it. So, you don't have to respect... In many scenarios, you don't have to you don't have to respect edge guarding uh, Capitancito or uh, edge guarding this Min Min up B. I, why did I say Min Min? Me Gunner up B because there's no hitbox in it. If you know that they have to up B at a certain point, intercept where they're going and, and throw out a hitbox. It does not have like a sour spot or something at the end of the move or at the beginning of the move or anything like that. So that is your time to take advantage of that kind of up B. Um, of course, if Capitan Cito has like a jump or something, you're gonna have to like, you know, accommodate for that or like get ready to like punish accordingly and all that. But ledge trapping in this matchup definitely is very important slash not too difficult. But I haven't really been seeing it too much from Louis Money. They are scrambling right now. When you when you find yourself in a scramble scenario, unless your name is Fox, Aegis, Rob, and shit like that, like you know, the broken ass characters, uh you need to disengage just for a second. 
Because, like, in the end, he didn't hit Capitancito at all in that entire sequence. And granted, even though Capitancito didn't get too much damage there. Oh, is that going to kill? Ooh. Sheesh. As I'm explaining what's going on, this lead just became suddenly very massive. Down tilt. Yep. Because, boop. <laughs> two two stocks for Capitancito so far. But one thing Capitancito is really good at, like... I, this is not my first time watching Capitancito, but he doesn't, like, only fight with, like, special moves. Like, he's not, like, no, nowhere close. Obviously, this is the best me gunner. This is the best me gunner. He's not going to just mash special moves like an elite smash a me gunner. He knows how to press, like, four tilts, uh, like, you know, down tilts, nares. You know, he knows how to press his uh, normal buttons, you know? So... Uh, but the thing is, me gunner just prefers having that that much space to set up stuff, charge shot, missile, jump down, B, uh, mine, all that stuff. Like right there, like you know, obviously different. You know, Kabiyan Sito just came back, so he had intangibility and shit. So, so uh, Louis Money was like, I'm not gonna mess around with him right now because I literally can't hit him. That was weird. I think I feel like he went for a pummel and it didn't come out, or like a grab and pummel, but it didn't come out. Ouch. Side B or strong side B into down tilt. That was like 35%. <laughs> After playing Smash 4 recently before the server shut down, it's like like that 1v1 damage multiplier for everyone just really is so noticeable. <laughs> First, wait, hold on. I just realized that Louis Money has two stocks. I, I thought they were even right now. Oh, this is it's over. It's GG. Hold on. That's it. All right, game five. I don't think there's a bad stage in this matchup for uh, for Palutena or just in general. Like she's just solid on every stage. Maybe Lilat's like eh, or Yoshi's story. Well, actually, the Palutes prefer Yoshi's story. I just don't like the slant, but that's like a small like gripe overall. She's still s solid, obviously. Platforms with up airs and stuff, the black blast zone at the top. But I mean, I don't think Yoshi's story is a stage, but. I was including all the stages that have been like tournament stages. Right now, I think Louis Money, he's jumping too much. I think that's the problem. And it makes sense because the way that uh, me gunner, you know, just short hop forward air, short hop forward air, you want to go above it. So typically the option is to jump over it or like you would want to jump over it. But that's what Capitan Cito is expecting. So, well, right now. Chase, or I was going to say Chase. Louis Money starting to shield a lot. He's at kill percent. So now he's starting to show up. Turtle mode. That down so almost KO'd. I don't even know if that was sweet spot or not. But like it, it looked like a sour spot. But it, like it was literally like a percent or two from killing still. Gotta be careful. Yeah, the bomb with the little coverage right there. So he couldn't do a dash attack off of that up B. Great way to condition the grabs with all the projectiles missing the normal getup. Oh man, what a scramble here! But the up tilt catching the jump here. Capitan Cito typically has been winning all the scrap scenarios. Like when they're when they're like scrambling up close and they don't know what's going on. Okay, you tried it, but oh wait a minute. Pretty large damage advantage here. Okay, but Luis getting the air combo starter. He has no jump. He has no jump. He's gonna air dodge. He's gonna air dodge eventually. Ah! <laughs> no. He had no jump. He was it was coming out eventually. You just up aired him like three times, so he doesn't want to challenge it anymore. He's gonna play more defensive. But hold on, Louis Money right now is doing a good job at bringing it back, only down by forty percent. However, if he gets hit by an up tilt or a down tilt, he will die at this percent. Yep, there it is. Up tilt, miss, down tilt, boom, landed death. And using reverse fear good and air. Charles up underneath that ledge. And that down tilt so good catching Luis dashing to the left. So maybe not the best. We got a set out here. This is definitely very, very close. Play the game in other aspects and you're not really expecting to get hit, right? Oh my god. More often than not, when you're pressuring somebody on the on a platform, they typically full hop. Ooh, oh never mind. Yo, I need to look at my map real quick. Oh, he's alive, Palatine sucks. <laughs> Good spike. Finally hit that up B with something like meaty, I guess. Uh-oh. Back air? Yeah. 
explosive flame right there for the covers at the ledge. Just trusting that they'll get back in time. But you got to watch that down, B, because there's up tilt. Oh, he's That's just tech. wait a minute. He's just reading wait everything he's doing That's right now over and over and over. Let's trap set up Luis finally back on the stage. He's back on the stage after 100 percent of getting your ass on, man. No, really did again. Positioning is everything for both of these two players. Racina start to come out in a beautiful way on Capitan Cito's behalf. Side B. Nice. There's a Nair. Another Nair. Can I get a third one? No. Back here there that time. Okay. Yeah, he, he has no jump. Oh, actually, no. He did have a jump. But he's still on the ledge. Gets the ledge roll. Hold up. Chase, don't give him the pressure. No, don't drift back. No, no. That's what he wants. He wants space right now. This is your time. Push. I know you're scared of the up tilt or down tilt, but you have to push. You give him the space, he's just gonna be comfortable. What was he cooking right there? Nair into down B. Something scary was definitely on the other side of that ex exchange, but still a lot of match left to be played. Oh. Oh. For that down to Luis sitting at 149%. Yeah, back here is another out here. Luis avoiding a. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. He messed up. Oh, no. Oh no, not the accidental directional air dodge. He tried to drift away in air dodge, but he did a directional air dodge and fell right into that up tilt. That's not how I wanted the set to go. And now, like I just said earlier, even though, you know, DR on top, you already know how this shit go. Palu, Palu stonks, even though, you know, two Palus got top eight here, they just made a cameo. As always, Palu's bad. Mid. Needs to be better. Smash Ultimate Deluxe. Nah, but good shit to copy down Cito. Moving on. All right. We got Mr. Bot Supreme himself versus Sweet. <laughs> hey, y'all see this, right? Uh, editors, make sure you have this here. You see how they smiling, friends and all that stuff? Wait till game one's over. Sweat Lord faces will be intact. Okay, I feel like that, like, level up. Thing in the background it repeats every five seconds i'd be annoyed seeing that in the corner of my eye <laughs> all right but here we go we got light versus tweak they were they took a little while to set up there but it's all good they did play at luminosity's uh invitational like uh charles said but it was sephiroth versus uh fox which is like ass light told me that the event vibes were just like weird and stuff he does he doesn't really count that as like a win i think it was like two out of three as well he was just like it was just different but here we go winner semis uh light is the reigning champion of level up so of course he's gonna want to get a repeat so obviously this um, this event will probably mean more oh i'm surprised he didn't just up smash pretty sure if you can grab you can up smash uh with diddy kong so that would have got the ko right there absolutely okay typically light doesn't live this long against uh tweak but still taking the first stock right now though uh tweak is 0-2 in terms of landing down there's off stage anytime light has to up b typically he's on point with those but doesn't seem like he needs it right now double jump or rising jump into the banana throw into forward around that 140 one thing you don't like to see light do is throw out random up smashes or like hail mary up smashes but he was at low percent now he shouldn't throw it out now he absolutely shouldn't throw it out because yeah he's actually not afraid at all but that did not look like it should have right killed here. don't let light tell him man that move doesn't kill it just did right there <laughs> it's fox propaganda right fox yeah uh-huh <laughs> not the fox 100 fox propaganda <laughs> oh my god my back here doesn't kill as he does it nine times in one second like i'll trade trust me i'll trade oh okay. wait but tweak actually might make it look easy here try to get the two frame on that firefox here Whoa. he has down. not been getting those spikes or those down air two frames uh oh oh no one dash attack 40 percent he's getting blended a little bit grabs grabs are very very important i've talked to i've talked to light about his matches with tweak and i've always said like bro you need a grab like light is very good at landing grabs whenever i play him in friendlies and like when he's on point i notice that he's very good at going for grabs and he's just like, I know, but I just want to get like a kill and stuff like that. And my grabs don't kill. But I'm like, bro, it's not even about that. When you get grabs, you're doing mental damage to your opponent to not shield as often because now they're keeping keeping track 
of like, oh, I keep holding shield and I keep getting grabbed, so I need to start moving around. What can you do when they're moving around? Hit them with the aerials and moves that you want to land. Up smash, back air, uh, read a jump or up air, stuff like that, you know? It's it's not about the, the forward throw or like the grab itself killing. It's about like putting it into the opponent's brain that, hey, I keep getting hit by these grabs and the percent is racking up very, very quickly because he's just grabbing me repeatedly, you know? So right now, at the moment, I'm seeing some good grab usage. Brought it back to an even game after he was kind of losing by a decent amount. Wow, that forward air cross up. Oh no! Wow, both players play really well in this scramble. Oh, There's a that's it. That's it. Up smash to follow, and Damn. this time, Light not having enough time to go for the jab. OS just goes ahead, reacts. And, and, and Light landing a tech chase up smash, broken confirm, and going, woohoo! Jumping out of his seat. But now you see, right? Now you see the, the smiles are gone. It's sweat lore faces now. I, I always say, like, if, if Tricky was a stat, Tweak would have it maxed out. He's one of the trickiest players, and especially, he loves playing. The tech <laughs> yeah, player. it looks so. Oh. Yo, he is just not on point with those down airs right now. That would normally have been a stock, or like, peak Tweak, he would have timed those. But Light, just raw reactions, and you really got to have that as Fox because if. If you're not tech chasing on reaction and you're not reacting to your combos and your follow-ups, this character falls really, really short. Yes. But a character that if you are able to do all those things, it just all of a sudden is. Alright, right now Tweak is just slapping him up. Another miss down there right there. Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't just forward here. Tweak had a decent lead right now, or like a couple seconds ago, but if he gets up smashed now, literally back to even game. Uh. Oh yeah, bro. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, I think it's fine for for like to throw out an up smash if he's at low percent. The problem is when he's at like mid percent and starts throwing them out where he can actually be thrown off stage into actually getting edge guarded. That's what I hate to see whenever he's like flustered or like too impatient and stuff like that. Oh, read the jump. Oh, he read that. Light's average on like surviving right now in both these games is like 150, which is crazy. Cause, you know, Fox, light character, by the way. No, nah, he definitely is light. Uh oh, no, no. Oh, he wanted a dash attack there. I was going to say Tweak is pressing too much buttons right now. Fell right into that banana, or that banana fell right into him. Uh oh. Ooh, good placement on that. What? What? Nice. He did two wall jumps in the same uh, wall. Pretty sure he actually needed to do that. Otherwise, he just wasn't coming back. Tech chase. That just... That just did not connect. <laughs> what? That was like sour spot Sephiroth forward tilt range. That connecting in that spot. Maybe Tweak threw out like a back air or something and like it hit the back air. But it just looked like it should not have hit. That was whole. That was, oh my god, I hate Fox. <laughs> that, was good. that was a good up smash though. Because it worked. Because it landed. It was actually really good. Uh -oh. Yeah, man, these edge guards are definitely key right now. Like, those are errors that typically, like, if Light messes up, he he dies for it, and that's what starts like the big lead that Tweak typically has in the sets that he wins. Oh, nice back here into the turnaround F smash. Shine, another one. Light work. <laughs> that was actually kind of crazy. This is definitely a win that Light has been hungry for, because Tweak is one of like his blocks as of recent. You know, we're not. I'm not counting the Sephiroth one too, because like Sephiroth versus Box is just ass, bro. He's actually like 0 and 6 or 0 and 7. Or uh, oh, he's trying to bait out an up smash. He's trying to bait out an up smash by doing directional air dodge away. But yeah, outside of the Sephiroth win that he got recently, he hasn't beat Tweak in quite some sets, like four times or so. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. If Diddy Kong doesn't have a banana peel in his hand, that's dash attack is typically his combo confirm. If that, if not that, a grab. 
but not a good dash attack there considering that light was holding oh it's over it's over it's over it's over too high of a percent right now the only way tweak wins this game is if he actually lands any of the down airs, yeah. if he manages to get them off stage. But at the moment, miss, but still on time for back here and nice, narrowly escaping the shine there. Tweak, of course, great situational awareness off stage. Grab. Off stage, excuse me. Okay, oh, bro. oh, we just, oh, we just okay. pummeling. We pummeling. Well, historically, yeah, Tweak is somebody who actually doesn't match yeah, out of like grabs. Or if he does, it's like very, very like minimum yeah, effort. So, <laughs> like, he's like, I'm gonna just take all these extra pummels. Sure. So much That's it. You're not going to be enough in the range for the confirm, but you are going to be in range Damn. for the tech chase. That was a pretty solid win. Light, not missing much of those tech chases here in this top eight. And <laughs> hey man, it's been a while since I've I've watched a top eight where light doesn't just get eliminated. I tell him I was like, bro, when you win, when you win in the top eight, like a set, I win because that means we get to watch faster gameplay, all this type of shit. So you winning means I win because then we all win. So good shit to light. Taking a 3-0 over Tweaks Diddy Kong this time. Winner semis going down. Mew Days versus Sonics. I don't think I've ever seen these two players play before. At least not in like a recording. But I can't remember even outside of recording, even hearing that these two have played before. I, I would figure that these they they've played at some point. They're two of the best players in the world. Also, shout outs to Mute Ace. Always, always picking some good songs whenever playing on small battlefield. Typically, picking good songs. You know, sometimes you pick some uh, some Fire Emblem songs. You know, kind of mid, but. Pretty much over. Maybe you can make it back with double jump if you are at lower percents. But yeah, at such high percents, or even the spring with such low knockback, we'll still stage play you pretty down there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sonic certainly knows it. Knows that he needs to hold forward now. Cannot allow the stitch face to get busy. Home attack. That percent is building up right now. See, the thing is. Oh, okay. I was going to say, the thing is, Mutace obviously is trying to land the stitch face, but sometimes you get so focused on landing the stitch face that the other person starts to get more hits in. One good sweet spot is going to kill. Right here. Back air, even up air might kill from like the ground up. Uh, back air absolutely will kill sweet spot. Forward air. Uh, dash attack sweet spot will kill. Back throw near the ledge. That's going to kill. Okay. Mute Ace taking game one, even though... Even though his his shield button doesn't seem to be working because he missed two techs, one at 80 and one at like 110. It's not for me. Hit a couple fairs here and there, you know what I'm saying? That's right, get under my opponent's skin. They don't want nothing to do with 63, just like that. No way. Oh my god. As you don't want to have that happen against Sonic of all characters. Now you have to play from behind. A whole stock. This is like a crew battle now. Especially with no double jump. Again, that vert not too great. So that puts still going to be enough to give the stock lead over to Sonic. And I mean, it's going to be a very different game. The, the Sonic is so much better. He hasn't got hit this stock yet. And on top of that, Peach just not the fastest character in the biz, right? So. Oh my god, no. Turn up right there onto the covers, but there's Forder once more. Yeah, oh, wow. damn. Okay, I was not expecting F to. Sheesh. Had a very unfortunate first two stocks, but like, like you have to like go, you have to pretty much whiff punish a lot of what Sonic does, but he doesn't have to do anything when he's up two stocks. You're gonna have to be the one to be engaging in those scenarios. So, sheesh. Hit mute is like, yeah, I'm definitely banning PS2 next. Dang. He's doing a lot out here, so with that in mind, kind of defending the home turf. Okay. Just like just like uh, Sonic's got 63% to start off the uh, last game. Now it's Mute Ace's turn. Ooh. I wonder if Mute Ace didn't go for an air dodge there and just upbeat instead if it would have killed. Because that forward air was just misspaced. Low key, this was the pace of the match, or this is the pace that I expected this match to go. Because Mutace isn't the most aggressive player at times. Wow. Okay, that actually killed. But obviously, Sonic's will take will slow down the pace of the match to his preference more often than not because Sonic is able to do that. But Peach slash Mutace also, you know, waits for the right moment to strike. 
So he will take as much time as he needs to get that big opening in and then start overwhelming people with like their, like, you know, floats, back airs, flow forward airs, all that good stuff. Maybe he can intercept <laughs> just the stare down. Uh, so I'm surprised that the first stare down just happened three games in as opposed to like the other two games. At this at this rate, this match is definitely going to be a timeout or or finish in the last minute, like like 40 seconds. Oh, the clank. Sheesh. Yeah, somebody's getting their ass whipped over there in the back, in the top right. Chun Lee versus uh, Jury. Yeah, eventually, he's going to have to pull the trigger, you know? Mutace is not going to mind because Mutace has been playing at a very good, like, patient level that anytime Mutace is incorrect on something, he doesn't take too much percent. Good fake out there with the float grab. 45% on him. Yeah, Mutace is winning a lot of these, like, actual, like, physical scramble scenarios going on. Like, when they're up close and throwing shit out and, like, trying to, like, chip at each other, he always comes out on top. Yeah, no, there's no K. There, there's no setup. There's no setup there. Damn, you guys played that set really well, honestly. Like, his patience is godlike, but, like, it's not even just the patience. It's just that his movement is so tricky and, like, TAS level, basically, with Peach at this point. Like, when Mutace is on something, he is on something. So, very good stuff. That matchup, I don't really see it often, but I would imagine that Sonic does a good job versus Peach. But, like, it just looks like an even matchup there with how well he was playing. But, you know, Sonic's, he just couldn't get the kills, uh, like the kill setups as uh, easily as he normally gets them. So, that was that's definitely what it came down to. Mutex was living for such a long time. Alright, we got Loser's Quarterfinals. The opponent that Tweak has to fight is Jazdo. So, that means that Sonic's has to fight against... Oh, man, he has to fight Capitan Sito. Nah, not the DR team kill, man. I just realized. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Jazzle versus Tweak. This matchup is ass for Ken and like FGC characters. Diddy Kong just so annoying. Her box shifts under a bunch of shit that the FGC characters love doing. He jumps around too damn much. So I'm, I'm interested to see how Jazzle is going to, what he's going to do in this set. The fact that Jazzo currently with the lead here, very impressive, and we know Jazzo has been playing so well this weekend. I mean, he was able to. Yeah, his head versus. On the loser side of things. Oh, and then a Damn. wonderful read. I like that air dodge back with the drift back right there from. Yeah, he beat Raph, the Sonic versus uh, and I mean they're also from the same region, so maybe they've played before like a good amount. So he's probably very experienced against Sonic in general. But that still sounds very tough. That's my boy Levar Burton right there, man. This is reading Rainbow. Gotta have those reads, you gotta have those resets on deck because we know Ken gets so much out of it. So Jazzo able to get the lead. Jazzo is also able to, to defeat Chase as well. Yes, I to get into the Chase position. sweep. Well, I'll, say, I'll say it right now, Jazzo is just playing some really good smash today. Yes. Throughout this whole weekend. Oh, 100%. Man. He's having a tournament of his life. I mean, again, the match that he had with life very close, you know, just fell, but still looking really good right now. And looking even better right here in this situation. 157. Looking for the angel drop right there. The angel. The media up B. Yeah. Tweak has just. I have not watched Tweak land a down air out of like 10 attempts basically at this point. He's missed every single one. But if there's one that I wouldn't be surprised that he misses here because like Ken's up B. Pretty good hitbox above him. The DI from Tweet, very high percent, so. Drift back as quickly as possible. Whoa, banana pill, down tilt, down smash, gonna be enough coast. That, that should not have killed anyways. Even though he was at a very high percent, he was holding away because he probably was anticipating a down tilt, so he got hit by down smash. I feel like Jazzle could have gone for a normal up B there, like, like reverse up B on shield, not the true Shoryu input. I think it would have killed. Be in a position here, the down tilt, and then catches the banana pill. It is called precision, friends. Yeah. Look it up. You're gonna surprise he didn't just up smash, but great stuff. One stock a piece, and honestly, I'm still kind of worried for Tweak right now. 96% certainly ain't nothing to sneeze at, but one misplaced, one misspaced interaction, excuse me, on Tweak's side. He could be in some real trouble here. Okay, folks, attack corner game. Okay, FADCN. 
Ooh, trades on the down tilt here. There's another Dude. down tilt. Gets oh. the reset. But just goes for a third down tilt. Not going to convert off of the connection here. There's the banana slip. There's the forward smash. Yeah, that Hadouken was not worth it. Because even if you land the Hadouken, you're taking like 9%, 10% and, or whatever, and that's it. Something that I might want to proceed with caution on. So, re-grabbing the banana with the dash attack as well. Okay. Down smash. Nice. Okay. okay. I always have Duke in, when I do a down smash. I need to do focus, especially if like I know they're gonna tech in. One, one nice thing about Ken is he is uh, one of the quicker ones on his feet when it comes to fighting game characters. So sometimes you can at least pressure Diddy Kong to not to the banana as much, but the neutral is still so heavy Clean. in Diddy Kong's. Uh, Simple, but very effective. You just have so much like custom combos. And, uh, on like a heavyweight like did like uh can that's right starts with one bro gets one right to the duke and so playing this one save one up tilt okay knowing that he's gonna spend a lot of time in the air whoa okay actually should have probably let it rip right there but unfortunately it's very rare when tweak throws out a random not random up smash but like throws out an up smash without down tilt let me correct myself yeah, some of these Hadoukens, like, like jump off ledge Hadouken is honestly not it because even not, not even just considering the fact that he just got hit by a banana into a smash attack, but like, even if Diddy Kong or most characters in general, if they throw out a move, if they throw out a move, it's going to beat out the Hadouken because the Hadouken itself is just very weak in terms of like a projectile, like everything just beats it or beats it out. Damage. Oh, that was a ton of damage. That is all fundies on Sunday, my boy. Jeez. There's the dash attack bursting in here. I think Tweaks. This might be the end of the set right here with a 3 0. Smell it cooking. Wants to try to keep Jazo at bay. Ooh, that's a fast fireball. Where you can alter the speeds of the fireball depending on the input. No down airs shall land on Tweaks end in this tournament. Oh, that's it. Actually, no, this shouldn't kill. If he S smash it was over, but okay, that's over. Not big enough because forward air closes it out off stage. I guess the first two games were like, yeah, not really in favor of uh, Jazo at all. But the Ryu definitely has some potential. I feel like definitely starting with the Ryu next time is the play, unless you feel like you're playing ultra hot with your Ken. Aye, 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 aye. It was me, Gunner versus Sonic. I was not trying to watch that. I'll be honest. But as you can see with the set count, copy down Ciso. It's up 2-1 against Sonics right now. Long ass set. But this is a still would be considered an up an upset. There has been times where Sonics has lost to Copy Don Cito. They're the top two players in DR. DR team kill, unfortunately. I'm gonna spare you guys from watching most of this set. <laughs> but you know, if there's two if, if this goes to game five, I'll watch that too. It looked like Copy Don Cito. Actually, well, no, it's, it's just counterplay. Never mind. I was gonna be like Sonic's just pick Kalos, but Capitan Cito picked the song. But never mind. I I, I I done goofed. It was uh, or right. it's his stage. When people you fight <coughs> light <laughs> back then, or just even now, whenever you uh, fight light and bracket, even if you counter pick a stage, he always try to pick the music. Like bro, it's you lost or you beat me. I lost. Let me counterpick my stage and my music if I want to put a track. When he fights Mute Ace, I believe it's after this any game or where Mute Ace picks the stage, it's gonna be light picking the song. I promise you. Bro's a DJ. I mean, I think when it's closer quarter combat, kind of hard to deal with laser, kind of hard to deal with neutral special. But now that if I stand on one side of the screen, I can see it coming. Whoa! But did you see this coming? Okay, hold on. It is it is game five, so that's that's huge. Bro, not even a minute in, Charles. Damn. That is insane. And off the homing attack on shield. Homing attack on shield, not the safest thing, but I had no idea that Capitan Zito could just grip that up smash. That up smash being pretty quick and having a good amount of range to catch that bounce. Nice. That just Sonic like that. Instantly answering back Snap of a finger. Brought it back. Two stocks apiece. That's right. The big captain is a present right now. But Sonic's ain't going to give him that dub here for free. Death's going to make him work for it here in loser's quarters. Double back. Anytime you get up throw by, by Sonic's Sonic near a platform, never DI towards the platform. But as you saw, even though he didn't DI towards the platform, uh, you're just making the combo like just like a tighter, uh, like a little bit tighter of a sequence for the. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I can't even speak about the combo because this match is going by hella quick. Two and a half minutes, or oh, a hella quick for like 
the matchup at least. <laughs> but um, I was gonna say yeah, whenever whenever you get grabbed by Sonic near a platform, never di there towards there because if he does up air, it's just easier for him to do a combo extension uh, from there. But even if he if you di away, he can still do part of the combo that he's looking for. It's just like a tighter like sequence in terms of like like he has to be perfect on it. If he's slightly off, then you are able to air dodge or maybe throw out an, uh, an attack. <laughs> My bad. Oh shit! <laughs> the one time I, I had a sneeze coming up, I was like, like I'm gonna wait until the set is over so I can. Uh, you know, I like see how it ends, and then as soon as I, I was like, oh, screw it, I just gotta go for it. Boom, set's over, and that is gonna do it. Close set though, in terms of like game count, three two, and even then like last stock, after taking the first stock from Cabinacito, very close. They played probably a million times, so like it would be an upset for Cabinacito to beat Sonic's like seating wise and stuff, but like clearly he's like very very experienced in fighting Sonic slash Sonics. As a player, so it would have been an upset in that aspect. But good stuff, though. Regardless, getting fifth place, me Gunner. I'll place in Palutena. Palutena sucks. <clears throat> Winners finals, game number one. Light versus Mutes going down. They got Light Steam playing. So that means he's gonna win. That would have been a crazy start if was able to get probably a stronger back air there. Ooh, okay, interesting. It was like kind of floating around the ledge, but like able to make it happen. Broken. Broken combo. This is like an interesting set matchup wise because like Light has a ton of Peach experience facing off against Ling back in his region. In fact, his record against Ling is probably one of the worst records uh, like in favor of somebody between two players I think I've ever seen. Like it's legit like 80 and like two or some shit like that it's bad like he farms ling bro but well you know that goes to show that how many times he's fought against ling who's one of the best peaches in the world one of the best peaches in the u.s slash world um but that does not mean that like mutates has no chance at beating light and in fact did beat him back at genesis uh like a year ago or like the other genesis where mute beat everybody so but like you can see that light is very comfortable in this matchup as well. Nice. Reverse nair. Oh, such a bad forward air. Or I mean not forward air. Such a bad dash attack. And just like that, 86. Don't think he wanted to grab the ledge there. Don't normally be off stage in this game. Oh, that's it. Don't know if I agree with that side B. At that point, you should have known that light is going to be wow, very uh, greedy. Oh my God! Never mind. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what I was about to say. Just erase it. Mm. I wonder if he could have. I mean, 41% still is pretty good, but it looked like he could have got a forward air into down tilt true combo there. The way that he landed with that forward air? No way. Okay, yeah, had to let it go. Oh my god. You can have it. You can have it. Almost broke a shield with Fox. The Fox jab. The actions per minute between these two players right now, even though it's not like a two minute match, they're just pressing shit. Literally six percent between them right now. The most buttons per minute, probably between, two, uh, uh, like, you know, a combination of two players, probably out of anybody. Oh, okay. A normal get up. He jumped. Normal get up. Ah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Can't miss that tech. Yes. Cannot miss that tech. Cannot miss that tech. Charles talked about this earlier. He was like, yeah, look, the light classic. I, I say this shit on stream all the time. Sometimes he gets up, he's like, I'm like, okay, sit your ass down. You won the game. Look, 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 light's gonna pick the song. Oh, no, never mind. If I go back, well, I mean, somebody selected Bubblegum KK, so that's definitely light. Not really delivering a lot of that damage back. Toad counter? Oh, my lord. Okay, good tech. Maybe it's a little weird to go for on Fox. To toad counter is a little like. Like wonky. Ooh, the super delayed tech right there, but 
At the same time, like it um lights jab just missed because of how delayed it was. Out of shield options mute gets really comfortable in that shield sometimes, could enable uh some opportunities for light to really get in there and get some grabs at some opportune times too. And how about that turn Peach being Peach being so floaty that even though like like you air dodge hella early, he just had enough time to react and throw out a move before she was able to do anything. Only if they actually connect. Well, that's going to be a one good one. Uh, one I mean, up smash would have killed anyway if it was sour spot or sweet spot, but I'm surprised it's sweet spotted. This fox is not a tall character, too. And he was on the ground. Oof. 86. Oh, my God. Okay, jab lock. Follow up. Yep, nice. Oh my god. I thought he was 77. See, these are the best characters, or some of the best characters in the game. They got that one sequence, and then it's literally a one player game. That's a lot of damage he was able to get back in in two or three different interactions. Now we got another even game. Sephiroth's 80% combo is a shield break and fully charged neutral B to F smash. Now get that shield break. Oh the up smash actually trades coming in from mute ace as the down air hits, but it's only a small hit. I'm laughing because my comments always mention how I always say something bad about Seth Ruff, so now I make it a mission to say something. Back back to town of city, bubblegum KK. Order. Lights grabs are just so good today. Yeah, keep grabbing you, bot. I I I I come down, 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 come down. But like good recognition from you days, but you see that's the thing. Like you keep grabbing and you're gonna make them not shield, and then that's when you start getting those big hits in. Yeah, I love the use of the lasers too, man. It's just like all that little additional damage can really be the difference between a KO and just like a. Okay. He's a get off me. He's gonna be a little more weary of like a Peach up smash after losing that last game. Like he's like he doesn't want to do any like drill attempts and drill tech chase or something like that or he'll he will do it but depending on the scenario he'll go for it here but in the last stock scenario he's going to be a lot more safe i would imagine <laughs> okay random up me all right light's job in this scenario right here is to well yo mutes keeps jumping off of the ledge and like light is not capitalizing on it all right not like anticipating it, it seems like. But I was gonna say, well, what I was gonna say now is invalid. I was gonna say that uh, Light's job right now is to not take up too much percent where he'll die to an up smash or a potential up smash from you, like how he did in the last game. But now he definitely is at kill percent where if up smash lands, it's gonna kill. As long as he, as long as he sweet spots it. Hey, if he rolled, that was like the first roll in like ten options. Okay. Or like 10 times on the ledge. Yeah, okay. See, this is why I don't I don't let Fox players complain about their back here. He literally just won that game by mashing back here 80 times. And then even though it was a little bit stale for hitting the shield, it still killed. Uh, hey, look, he's talking to like the Krizoa spirits from, from Star Fox Adventures. Look, he's like, I, I, don't, I don't know, however the fuck general scales talks. <laughs> <laughs> you you have to change the song. He's getting too powerful. Bro, it's shielding. <laughs> Get a shield break off of them lasers. Light's gonna throw one up smash and that's it. Maybe. Oh, Nair going the other way. Game five. Or to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo, he keeps pressing buttons. 67. Just like that, we are even. Even game. Here we go. Light very much so aware he can still get the job done, but few days has proven time and time again through multiple moments can be extremely clutch himself. Just need to be able to close the game out, force this game number five, and go the distance against last year's champion. Light right now. 100%. So they're it's moving right now. He's got to watch it the way he's hopping. Though. That was an up smash that started right there. Oh. He's definitely got to watch his uh, approaches. He's still living. 
That was a clean uh, attempt at a back air, though, for the oh, steal. What? Oh, what? Oh, so, oh no. That's so unfortunate. You got crossed up on your counter, and you know <laughs> she drops like a rock on the counter. What a bet. Oh, a my God. Right there for me. Because it was the right idea. It was definitely the right idea. That was unfortunate. I just talked about it earlier where, <laughs> where I was like, uh, you know, mute assistant going for like a toad counter. Sometimes that happens where like, you land the, the counter and then it hits the other way. I freaking hate that. But Peach's counter does have a decent amount of end lag on it too. And it missed every hit. So there's no hit stun being applied to the other opponent that's getting hit by the toad. So she just continues to drop down and he never grabbed the ledge. So or he didn't grab the ledge prior to that, so he didn't get his double jump back. He was just floating there and then did a B reverse or like a toad. Damn. That was that was kind of a corny way to end the set, but Light is gonna take it, you know. Level up expo previous champion. He's gonna take it. He's trying to be a repeat champion. They do be like that. Fox is broken. Good shit though, Light. Uh we back. We back with loser semifinals. We already missed the first stock, but knowing these two players, I knew I wasn't going to miss much. Three minutes into the match. Yeah, I haven't said too much. Oh, nice. Nice up smash. One thing I mentioned in a previous tweak set is that he doesn't really go for a raw up smash. He typically always waits for like a confirm off of like a banana or something like that. So, but there are some good moments to pull out a random up smash or like now I keep saying random, but like, oh. Oh no. Yeah, nah. I don't think I don't think that would have ended it. At zero percent, nah. Definitely don't let it go, bro. You have a solid lead here, but this also means you have quite a bit of rage to deal with on the side of Sonic. Sonic's gonna take this stock first. Absolute doom here if he finds it here at the edge. Eighty percent. Okay, good recovery right there. Good flight path from uh tweak to get back to the stage. What I was kind of worried about, man. Letting Sonic's hang around too uh -oh. long. Just like that, he's gonna take the first Damn. I mean, that, that kill. Well, I mean, Max Reach. But I was gonna say, like, in, in Tweak set versus Light, Tweak was letting Light live for too long, or like, or he wasn't letting him live, but like, the average kill percent was like 150 plus. And it seems like it's happening again here, and you don't want to do that against Sonic's, or like Sonic. Like these percents are too high, but he's just not getting those banana confirms to like seal the deal at an early percent. No banana F smash near the ledge at like a, at like 90 or 100. Sheesh. He just knows the combo routes. He very rarely drops those, but it, it's clean, but it's broken as fuck. All right. Hold on. Hey, hey. Palutena, you know, got two games before. You know. Sephiroth could, you know, take some games, uh, maybe. Uh, the set, uh, three games straight. I don't know about that, but well, I mean, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. This matchup is toxic, but it's only toxic if you know how to like edge guard uh, Sephiroth. Because anytime he's off stage, not anytime, but a lot of times that he's off stage can amount to him dying, like. With very little counterplay. But we'll see. We'll see. It depends on how Sonic's edge guards. The banjo's out. Normally I say, chat, get your banjo's out, but it's a YouTube video. So, YouTube video. Viewers, get your banjo's out. Almost got the stock there. I mean, no one, no one in this game has the speed to, to contend with Sonic. Really. Yeah, you, you have to play extremely slow with Sephiroth in this matchup. But Sephiroth himself is just... Oh, no, that was not... That was not a good down smash. Sephiroth being able to get hit by... Sephiroth being able to get hit by Shorehop rising up air is so annoying. Or, like, so bad for him in this matchup. Oh, oh, we just... Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. It's falling asleep on the ledge? Hold up. So one thing Sonics is not doing on tweak some of Tweak's recoveries, maybe because he doesn't feel like confident in the position to go for it. But if Sephiroth has to up B and you press homing attack, you can hit him in the start of the charge up, whether it be Octa Slash or even Blade Dash. And uh Yeah, you will hit him. Like and and like you can think like, oh, what if you just counter? Well, it's a gamble, because then he can also hold the homing attack for a long period of time. 
or just straight up not do it and you just fall to your death if you don't have a jump or like if you do it low enough and stuff like that you know but maybe he doesn't he's just not finding the right positionings to go or like for him to confidently go for it because like right now he's just been using a lot of spring and spring is not going to do anything to sephiroth off stage that's not the bad like the bad thing of being off stage against him Oof. crack the shield Sonic's really just never there to take the hit, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. Okay. Up finds his mark, but not quite good enough. Oh, I love that. Up smash. Okay, just a prey and up smash. He's not doing bad. He's, he's, it's even. That's better than uh, against his Diddy Kong. Or like with his Diddy Kong. Maybe it has something to do with the banjos. Oh, he tried. He tried, but he had his jump. He had his jump there. That's actually a really good air dodge to get through. I get hit right there on, on the way back, and then also managed to make it back to the uh, to the ledge. Hmm. Oh. oh, oh, he okay. almost he yeah, almost got a kill off of that spin was, dash uh, or homing attack. Trying to get himself a clean little setup. I think he can turn that around so he can line up a back here. I think that was a smarter play to do too, right there. Yeah, you know, straight away from the defensive option, striking hard and fast. Like this is either gonna come oh. down to Sonic's cheese in this last stock. Or tweak just okay. I got to kill. I don't know what to expect. He just right keeps now. getting hit by sour spot backers. Truly TK may make us all believers. I, I was already a believer. Don't don't put me in that. Okay, truly don't make, put me in that. <laughs> make me a believer. Yes. The okay. Sephiroth gets the job. Okay, hold on. Like, Tweak's dash attacks are very good with Sephiroth because Tweak is not somebody who approaches often with Sephiroth so when he goes for dash attack it's like not expected like that was a really good dash attack and it only would have killed there if he hit him near the end of the stage or like the ledge of the stage because it's not that strong of a move so he that was a perfect time to go for it if Sonic ran into a dash attack like for, or closer to center stage it would have been uh he would have been fine and since he moved back at the same time that Tweak went for a dash attack near the ledge Barely killed. Why does that up air work so well on Sephiroth? Oh, like right there, if he went for a homing attack, I think he would have been no. He would have put Tweak in a worse spot. Granted, actually, no, no, he wouldn't have been too bad in the spot. He would have still been in a. Bad spot, but it wouldn't have been as bad because he had the wing, or he got the wing prior to that. Sonics is getting hit by a lot of Shadow Flare, like, orb detonations. Yeah, I guess he's not familiar with the uh, timing of, like, how to, like, dodge it. Especially, like, a one. Tweak, Tweak goes for a lot of normal, uh... He goes for a lot of normal side Bs, and by normal, I just mean, like, he just presses it, as opposed to charging it. For, like, two orbs or three orbs. Oh, wow. Gee, that ouch. Too. He's hit him with so many attacks that, like, if Tweak makes this comeback, he has to do... I think he... I'm pretty sure he has to do this comeback without the wing. Like, if he takes the stock right now, he, he will uh, still have the wing, but he won't have it for the majority of the stock. Or, like, it'll go away eventually. It's like a weird point system thing, or I don't really know how it works like that, but, like, I know that if you keep hitting them... In the other stock prior. Wow, that was really bad from Sonic's to hold shield that long. Tweak probably didn't anticipate that. Oh. This could be the setup. Hold on. Okay, no. Gets the jabs out in time. That was actually a really uh, smart awareness there from Sonic's no. Still has the wing. In time and still block uh, the two orbs. Okay, this is not. It is just one of those situations where like the rage could be the. Oh, the wing went. The wing went away. Hold on now. This isn't too bad though. If he gets a, like a hard read up smash, the only thing is up smash is so laggy that. <sighs> oh, that was actually. Oh my god, it was so. Good. Oh, oh, they, oh, they swinging. They swinging right now. Sonic's is getting really impatient, actually. Oh, tweak what? Oh, in there? Oh man. After all that, <laughs> it did look like up smash. <laughs> good stuff to Sonic's taking it over tweak. Sephiroth actually taking a game, which the Diddy did not do. So, you know, he did solid. He honestly did very solid. He didn't get edge guarded like I was anticipating or and expecting him to get edge guarded by Sonics. But I guess Sonics wasn't really comfortable going for those homing attacks and stuff. But he did have a really strong start. And Sonics almost got too impatient and lost that game. But like we always say in this channel, Seph is bad. Mid. 
but good effort nonetheless. We are back. Losers finals time. Mew Days versus Sonics. This is a rematch from winner semis as we saw. Um, this is going to be a run back for Sonics because he got sent into losers bracket by Mew Days. Nice. We missed the first stock of this because this is how I do stuff. When I watch the top eight, I know it's going to be a slow match. I know I'm not going to miss too much if I come back a couple minutes late. And because we saw Sonics versus Mutes earlier, we saw like that it basically almost went to time twice. I was like, I'm not going to miss anything. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Sonic holding down. Not like this. All right, well, never mind. Sonics is activating like his, one of his hidden powers that he activates like once a game where he doesn't get hit. Leo, Leo had this back then, but it activates this thing where you just don't get hit by anything notable for a solid 30 seconds plus. So annoying. Or at least back then when Leo activated that shit. It just happens, bro. You just gotta accept it. For Sonics, he's definitely been getting knocked left and right, but 188, I mean, you were surviving much longer than you should have. Boom. Yep, untackable. This match isn't as bad as it looked, though, like, like a minute ago. If he gets hit by a down tilt, then it's gonna look as bad. Oh, oh no! Nice miss missed the back air, but Peach is so floaty that still in a really bad spot to get hit by something else, which is another back air. And now entirely in Sonic's favor, just by a little bit of percent, but he was he was pretty much down by like 150 percent. So we've seen Sonic make quite a bit of comebacks like this, though, where he might go down two stocks in quick fashion and then be like, you know what? All I need is one. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna just win. stock a piece for both of these guys some openers nicely okay don't give sonic a, a hint of momentum here because you give him a hint of momentum and it is over he just cooks uh oh continuously slow this game down it would be hard for me to catch uh, Sonics. Yeah. These up airs have been so good throughout this event, like throughout this top eight. Oh, that's not gonna kill. Speaking of mistakes, wait a minute. That's it. There it is. The back air seals the deal. Into game three. Yep. Okay, couldn't get the uh, the game three. Looking for there, but we're still gonna find some good damage all. Mute is very good at this matchup. I mean, Mute is just very good. But, like, I would imagine that this matchup would be a lot more frustrating for him. But, like, well, he is bullying right now. A quick 126 in 25 seconds. But then watch Sonics take the stock first. Oh, oh never mind. This is like a reverse of what happened in the other set. 3% on, on Mute Ace this time. As, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Almost got the KO there. I'll tell you what, though. He, he, he drank it up because he's coming through them Wheaties or whatever he had for breakfast is working. He's kicking his ass right now, TK. He's kicking his ass. Oh, but he needed that. All right, he's back in the he needed that shit, the though. 70% kill. They are not getting any real good hits on each other right now. It's been like 30 seconds of nothing. Taking their time, especially Sonics. He's sitting at 151. One of those back airs or force smash will definitely get him the stock. He can find it. Uh, <laughs> this cat and mouse, baby. Cat and mouse. Nice. Got him. Finally send him the other way, though. F smash. Oh, wow. there it I felt is. it. Yeah, man. I and felt it in my bones that he was just going to throw out man. something. He needed something. He didn't want it that he didn't want that lead to start building up because that's when Mutes really starts turning up. And then Sonic sits more flustered slash tilted, makes the hits easier for Mutes, and then he loses the game. Trying his damnedest. Uh oh, nah, he's alive. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on now. Add a little damage, push him off the stage here, but no, Sonic's gonna fight his way back to the stage real quick. Turn up in hand too. He got turnip combos. Oh, oh. Tricks. I wonder if he threw the, the turnip forward into a jump forward air if he would have got the kill. I think he would have. 
But maybe it was a little harder to get that actual turnip to connect. Or maybe that's what he was trying to go for, throw it up and then have it send him towards the blast zone and into a forward air. So he just messed up. Keep an eye on that clock. Don't think it'll necessarily be a factor, but definitely something to keep your eye on and be aware of. Bro, not gonna be enough. Oh, 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 yeah, so he only has to up B. Oh. oh, my oh. God, no! What oh, you, yeah. Are we good? Are we good? Oh. No. Okay, okay. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> that didn't even matter. Like, he couldn't make that back. Oh, that was, my God. That was a really uh, <laughs> decent, decent attempt at uh, trying to get Sonics to whiff. Pretty rough scenario there for Mute Ace, honestly. It's either wow, right press here. down and die like that or just float into a homing attack fully charged and you're absolutely dead. But... The way that Sonics is playing right now, he's not really, he's not really fucking up any of the sequences that he's been landing, like in, in terms of damage, but he's not taking much damage for missing it. Yeah, it's over. Mute is getting hit by everything right now. Very close. He got to get one of them. Yeah, Peach can do that type combos right now. That's what, oh, but not going to get a chance. The F tilt's going to send them packing. Still a solid asset though. All right, Grand Finals, Light versus Sonics. I think a grand finals people expected to happen here, or at the very least to have them fight, and they almost went another tournament without fighting. They haven't fought in a very long time. Banger set incoming. The grand finale. Here we go. Sonic's. What is that beep sound? Is that from the? I think that's from the. I'm pretty sure that's from like the the mics or their mics. I thought it was like outside my house. <laughs> It's like, like a truck or something. But I. Oh. That's it. Deleted. Yeah, Light versus Sonics hasn't happened in a very long time, but Sonics has always struggled with Light. I think he's beat him like one time. I think he's beat him like one time, and Light beat him like four or five times last season. So, pretty, you know, very favorable in favor of Light. But. They haven't played in so long, and since then, Sonics has become, like, top three in the world. The, like, uh, what you call it? While Light is, like, still obviously very good, but, like, Sonics has leveled up tremendously. No, it's, it's, uh, they're literally shutting this thing down right now. Oh, okay. I saw, yeah, I saw Yeah, okay. See, see, even EE pointed I thought it was. I'm sorry. Yeah, y'all hear that? Yeah, bro. Oh, I love that. He oh, my God. That killed. I'm surprised Light doesn't do that. Or, like, in my head, I saw a fall off the Town of City platform into an up air. But a lot of times, he does go for falling forward air there. And I'm just thinking, why doesn't he do falling up air? Because, like, if he gets that up air, he can do all that bullshit with up air anyway. He probably does do it, but like I probably don't see it land as often as opposed to his forward air. I'm there with the forward air. Yeah, light is looking exceptional right now. Sonics came in obviously with the hot hand, having to win two matches and losers in a row to get to this point. But I look like light has missed a beat. Love that extension with the dare. What a finish with the forward smash. Light stone faced as ever. Oh my god. As usual, as he takes care of. I ain't guessing that up. I bet there's people in the chat pogging it up and shit like, oh my god, so good. No, it wasn't. Subpar. Uh, I'm a positivity man, you know, positive vibes. So I'm positive that that was subpar. <laughs> no, that shit was kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that Ford Smash confirm was an actual confirm as well, like a true combo. Uh oh, Sanic music. Oh, so close. Soccer kick though. Get the, uh, the strongest hit, but still damage is damage, as I like to say. Light has been going for a lot. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my God. Well, he was dead because, like, he wasn't going to be able to. He had no jump. So all he had there was a up B and a uh, air dodge. But, like, the fact that he died in the middle of the up B, that DI was crazy. Well, what I was going to say is that Light has been doing a lot of ledge shrimp attempts into landing on stage of Nair afterwards. And when somebody does a normal get up, they just get, uh, uh, they get hit by that Nair, and then he just continues the sequence. That's like high key, like very broken, or like uh, uh, like very good of an option. Sonics, we know what this guy can do, man. Comebacks are not something he is a stranger to. 
got to settle in. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, nice yeah. Oh. With the falling Fox recovery sometimes. And, you know, a character like Sonic can definitely make him pay. You got, you kind of got to. I mean, you got the distance, obviously, but you want to try to. Good attempt on that up smash, but it would have KO'd. So uh, it wasn't worth. Well, it would have been hype. Sonic's definitely. Oh, oh. Right but back here and it ain't game. getting the job done. So also, look at this pressure my man has put on. As he's finally got. Uh, this lead is game. not really much of a lead anymore. Almost turned this Jeez. Into a stock first. Not a lot between them. Only ten percent. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. Oh, okay, nice. I love how. Alright, Sonic's is kind of bullying the fuck out of him right now. Work right now, it's being done up from both. Oh, that's it. Players. Oh, There's no near back here. Enough. Light tries to stall it out a little bit with using that shine up there, mixing up his landing. But who's going to get that final Ooh. hit? Oh, he just oh, oh no, nah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> no, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, he hesitated. Uh, we out to PS2. I'm so tired of this Team Galactic theme. Go back to the Sogaleo remix with the Elite Four. Please. Can't say I'm surprised, man. Both Tired of this song. Or use like Spear Pillar or something. There's other songs. There's like 30 songs. Five of them are good. The rest suck. But still. Sonics is slowing this down right now. But the thing is, he's not trying to actually slow it down. It's just that he's not getting these up air confirms that he's looking for. Like he's been throwing out moves. It's just they're just not landing. So then he just disengages real quick. The answer to get this first stock off, and he's already taking quite a bit on the second. Yeah, kind of let. I think there was an opportunity a few seconds ago too for an up smash, but I think it ended up pulling the trigger on down smash. So Sonic's kind of escaping, and he is making the absolute most of this lead currently. Still light, but able to KO. I don't know what is going Not the first, now. or I got like the spark of the up B. Just a game of cat and mouse. Damn, I've never seen Light not be able to get a, a like a good hit finally, and that, beca that happened because Sonic's messed up on the platform there. But like Jesus, he just could not hit him that entire stock with anything that was like of substance, untackable. Ah, surprised that surprised that Sonic threw out an attack after getting hit by that down air. I think Light over respected it, thinking that he was not gonna do that. So he could have just gone for an up smash. Now the 80, we're getting mad damage here from Sonic's. Starting to rack it up. Oh, there it is again. The double tap. I confirm. Is, it air. just doesn't yes, look like sir. it's true a little bit. It's like fast, but it's not like super fast to make it look like it's a real confirm, but it is a confirm. Yeah, nah. Oh my God. <laughs> I set two, set two, set two, set two, set two, set two, set two. He was narrowing like he was a Palu player. Oh my god! I didn't know it had that many hits. Dun 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 dun. That's it. Back air across the screen. That is going to be. Yo, that that spin dash. Dun 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 dun. Set two. Cornarius playing. Buff up. You can't play no Corneri on no damn PS2. Low key, I gotta talk to Light. Oh, I've talked to him before. I'm like, bro, I know you like PS2, but like, I feel like I never see Light win on PS2. He won on PS2 earlier against Tweak, but uh, nice. But I just feel like more often than not, whenever I see him actually lose sets, he's losing on PS2. Like low key swap PS2 with with Battlefield or small Battlefield, if if a if you're if it's possible. Up smash? Oh, okay. Something Sonic's. I I feel like I've seen Sonic's go for. Uh, maybe maybe not even just this tournament, but like maybe I'm like realizing it a little. Oh. Um, is that it, when Sonic's goes for a normal getup, he tends to do an immediate spot dodge or a roll. More uh, more so spot dodges. But he needs to be careful about that. Because I think Light scouted that out, or like you know, Fox is just fast enough that he was still able to be in a good spot to punish him for it. 
But maybe against some characters it's okay, but like if they if they have that scouted, you can potentially get hit by a harder punish. So let's say for example, if Light did a charge F smash on the ledge and at the same time Sonics did a uh oh almost almost that would have been the end of the game right there. But if, if Light did an F smash near the ledge on a normal getup from Sonics, that's the next, that's the end of the game. Yeah. Wrap it up, wrap it up. That's the end. Um that'll be enough. If Sonic does a normal getup and then spot dodges afterwards and Light is just continuing to charge the F smash, then it's going to kill him at like 70%. You know, that's something you got to watch out for. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend Light going for that, but like, that's something that if somebody has that uh, spot dodge habit scouted out, they could get a really big punish on it. Especially with a character like that has like a quicker smash attack, like Game & Watch or... Like, give him, give him a watch, like, down smash or wolf F smash and stuff like that. You know, you want to be careful about that. Granted, those two characters are not on the screen right now, but same application, you know. Or it's just something to watch out for. Got something in my eye. Ah! How are we good? But, an air up smash. Couldn't even finish it, bro. Neutral air to all smash percentages. He said, absolutely. I'm right there. He said, I see my opening. I'm going all the way through that window. Terrific. But, Ooh. Oh, what a forward smash, though. Oh, my. Is he dead? Yeah, he's Very definitely. Oh, wait. Okay, no, no, he's definitely what, dead. He's, there's no here. way. How does he get back to the stage? Sonics, oh, what the hell? Line up that back air well enough. That, I mean, if he He threw. That, or, like, he definitely choked that. Right place, right time. Okay, all right. He didn't take too much damage off of it, so not as bad. Only 20%. Non-existent right now. Everything started from that one F smash, up angle F smash. Very terrible for him. Oh. Okay, hold on. He's Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Light is in danger. Really letting this one slip away. Okay, yeah. Sonic's is depth. The momentum has definitely shifted to his side now. Light having to chase him down just a little bit. Sonic's so good at being. Bro was trying to cook the at the start of this stock. Percent is racking up. <laughs> this shit feels mad dramatic because of the uh, the hollow bash and music. <laughs> or like dive into the heart. Oh, the shield poke. What? That sweet spot? Off this neutral air through the platform. I'm actually kind of surprised that hit. That hit kind of high. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Here, I just realized that Sonics is in grand finals again. He's been getting like second place at everything. So I'd feel bad if he ends up getting second place. But I also need to see Light get a first place. Because homie has just been getting fifth place very often. Oh, no. I mean, it, I mean, it has to happen. <laughs> this SD is definitely coming to play right now because this still would be an even game without it. Damn. A ground confirm at 90, basically. Falling up here into sweet spot back here for the kill. I is just putting up mad pressure right now. Sonics is at way too high of a percent, so he has to avoid... Back air, up air, smash attacks, tech chases, everything, basically. That's not going to kill. Everything but that. That's definitely killing. I think Light asked what happened there with the SD and Light, uh, Sonics was just like, I just fucked up. I'm still wondering why they're not playing on the stage. Wait, is that even a stage? Now that I'm looking at it, I don't think that's a stage. I think I thought it looked like a stage, but like, because of the, uh, like the black, like barrier right next to the setup. But no, those are just, okay. Now. Okay. Okay. I never, I, I've been watching this for a couple hours now and I just realized like why they're not on stage. Cause there is no stage there. It's just, it's just a giant sign that just says level up every five seconds. First stock off and light's gonna strike nice. first up smash. All right, one, one game one game away and two stocks away. I, I didn't even need it. I didn't even gas this up, but light is one game away from winning this entire tournament. Oh, that was such a bad that was such a bad rapid jab. Like, hello? Part of me thinks that he meant to do a rapid jab. I mean not rapid jab. Jab one two into a grab, but he pressed it so fast that it inputted rapid jab. 
it's just not worth to go for a rapid jab at that percent. You just get like 10% versus you potentially dying. Risk reward insanely not in favor of him. Wait right there for the air dodge. Avoid the spring as well and just keep the combinations Nice. Nice patience. Light typically pulls the trigger a little too early and misses those, but a slight patience. Oh. actually swings himself all the way out of some disadvantage. Oh, oh my lord. Light. No recovery right there from Light. Not going straight forward. That could have been a real issue. I think Sonic's actually had that uh, lined up if he had tried to go for a Yeah, yeah, no. If he, if he, if he went straight in with that up B, that back here that, that Sonic's went for would have hit and it would have killed. Illusion's going to get hit this time. Spring starting to hit. Oh. Unteckable? Oh, good. Oh, yes. good. Wow. They, bro, they are they are scrapped. This is like a DBZ fight, bro. Yeah, no, they were things. fighting off stage for a minute. This is the kind of battles you want to see in a grand final. Two of the best on the planet. Not just <laughs> that back here. Bro, smash four kill right there. Here, raw smash. Well, any of a smash should be able to do it. But if he wants to, you know, try to find well, that, was, that works too. Miss Tech. That was actually hella right crazy. What the fuck? Okay, what the definitely fuck? Definitely mixing them up right there. Hard to follow. Oh, wait, that grab, but not gonna take too much off of it. The nerves are starting to build up. I, like the I can feel it. Very aggressively. Not allowing light to take. All right, I'm I'm scared or anything like that. I will come down with the hitbox. Light's That's not gonna kill. Oh, oh, not gonna kill. If it's Sephiroth, the tournament would have ended. But the thing is, Sephiroth wouldn't be this part, this far in bracket. So. Almost enough. The next one definitely will do it. <laughs> Definitely sniff the blast zones on that one, but would not succumb just yet. Sonics. Uh oh, he has no jump. He has no jump. All right, he landed, so now he has his jump, but. Oh, the spring again. The spring again. Okay, that was good. Good use of the Firefox. That's to get it. Through, That's but it. He is going to go past that top blast zone, and we're seeing Ooh. a game five. It seemed inevitable. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. It is a stage. Bro, I'm so, I've been like going back and forth, but now I see those stairs to go up on the stage. Never mind. Why aren't they playing up there? All right, anyway, game five, that was super close. Oh my God, super close, dramatic as Kingdom Hearts music. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need like to get this W just so he gets a confidence boost. And you know, the, the pop bonus can help him with, you know, you know, the house scenario, whatever the hell he, you know, when searching for stuff, you know, like it helps, it helps. I think there's a pop bonus for this event. So, get a little bit more money than you would with this amount of entrance. All right, so where do you go? Battlefield or small battlefield? Battlefield. Good thing he didn't go to PS2. No PS2 this set? Potentially winning? I think I might have figured it out, man. I got I to gotta let him know. Like, get that PlayStation 2 out of here. here on the spot of the final meeting. Battlefield, man. So many classic exchanges between these two all da 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 too hard to call right now, man. I just know. Either way, I'm entertained, so bring it on, man. May the best player win. Light trying to let you know that's going to be me with that easy double up air back air combination. You know, quite a bit of damage. Oh, okay. Stop and go as well with the dash attack. And a lot of damage already added up to Sonic's. Almost, almost finding that uh, back here potentially could have been the stock. He's going for so many ledge trumps this tournament, but it's it's paying off in the end. Like either A, he's not getting hit, or he's getting like a, he's getting the ledge trump itself or the nair and it hits. So like so far he hasn't like uh, you see like that? He literally got the kill from it. He literally got the kill for going for the ledge attempt, uh, ledge trump attempt. Didn't get the ledge trump, but Sonic's doing a normal getup, getting hit by that nair into a tech chase F smash. Like that is very good, and I'm not happy about that. But I'm happy. I, I'm happy for him at the same time. <laughs> and uh, this is this is not really a lead at all. I would say a lead, especially against these two type of players, a lead would be like maybe like 85 to like 100 percent on the second stock, while they're still like. At three stock, 120 or 130 and shit like that. Say though, I mean, it's nice to see Light actually being the one to slow it down a little bit instead of like running at Sonic. Back here, untackable. Nice. 100% worth the trade of taking hit, taking a hit from a Firefox. 100% worth. Terrific, actually. 25 though, already on his second stock, starting to start to look a little, little unhealthy. Oh no. Okay. That could have been really bad if he got the double F smash. 
25% between them. Yeah, it's, it's like, not been hit yet. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So hard to maintain a huge lead. That combination from light though was tremendous. Yeah, go ahead for it. Okay, hold on. I was like, potentially this could. Oh, that was I was just saying earlier how. Oh, wow, that killed? I was going to say, hold on. Just, he was never getting put in a bad spot going for those ledge trump attempts, but he could have potentially been put in a bad spot there, but he didn't. One more stock to go. Sonic, do you have a rally in you? He's looking for it right now. Back and forth, left and right right now as he's trying to find his way in. You got to pick and choose his battles. Doesn't want to just run straight into light. Light have no issue running straight into him, though, with that dash attack. One last stock, but I mean. What I say earlier, this ain't that big of a lead. I mean, low key, Light should just take it slow here. It's obviously, you know, he's known for going in, being aggressive, all this stuff. But there's three minutes left. It's kind of like this is kind of a very similar spot between like Mute Ace and Sonics when they played earlier. And Mute Ace is, you know, he could definitely be campier. Wow. Wow. The missed tech into a back air. All right, well. That lead that we had yeah, that, all right, never mind. In terms of camping now, like, this is way too close. I was only saying it, like, if it was, like, two stock to one. That tech proven to be probably pretty costly at this point. Oh. Oh, we're finding some damage. Yeah, we're stacking that all the way up. Oh, no, Pierce. Actually, adding a little more. That's a five piece right there. We're still adding up. Oh, okay. Did he foot the, uh, him twice? Attack, just put the, the little cherry on top. Woo! Oh no! Woo! Oh no! Like that being extinguished by Sonics. Sonics is indeed on a tear. Yo, that F smash! Oh my! <laughs> the blast zone. What was the DI looking that like? That DI was like actually the worst DI I've seen in a minute. No, actually no. That's not true. There's a oh, Fox player on the screen. Not be able to go past that top but last zone yet, but the next one. That DI was really it. bad. Sonics can go to the other side. Light trying to mark him though. Oh. Okay, good little turn around here from Sonic. Oh, oh, oh he almost lined that up perfectly. This is so terrible. Oh, oh my, oh my God. God. Light, you need to land. To oh, you are you one lucky ass. Not gonna connect. The smash oh, ultimate oh, air no, dodge into tech thing absolutely. that they added Straight actually away. came in light. clutch He's for him. That's it. Oh my God, is that gonna be enough? It is, and Light running away. Neutral air, back air. I'm the champion for Level Up Expo 2024. He said I will <laughs> 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 Capture back wow. to back glory on this stage. It took everything. A game five reset, last hit situation. That was actually to crazy. Overcome the odds and get the job. Where he go? Oh, like, there he is. <laughs> that was a crazy set. Down to the wire. Solid fight. Good. Overall, between the two sets, Sonics won more matches. He won five uh, to lights four, but. All that matters is a three out of five at the end of the set or of set two. And he won that three out of five. Set two was better than set one. Set one was kind of a wash after the first game. Or after, no, no, after the second game. The, the next two games were bad. But I know y'all noticed no PS2 equals light doing better. I got to tell him. Get rid of PS2. Something about PS2, even though it's very identical to small battlefield, something about PS2. He just don't be cooking sometimes. Maybe against lower level players, yeah, sure. But top level, I swear he just gets smoked. He did be tweak at, on PS2 today though, so. But overall, I would say like 70% of the time or 75% of the time, he gets clapped on PS2. Get rid of that stage. It's that Team Galactic shit. Get that shit out of here. But congratulations, Light. Let's fucking go. I fucking hate his character, but I love the person piloting the character, so he's trying to explain why he thinks he's actually a good player, but he's like, Fox, Fox is doing all the work for me. All I'm doing is holding the control stick and the game controller and I win the, and I win the match. He's, he's talk, he's talking to him like, like, you know how in the Mario Luigi games, how Mario Luigi talked to like, <laughs> but of course, I want to ask you a couple questions too here. First, take your trophy first place. Okay, oh, first place. To me. How you feeling about how this tournament wrapped up? You played. Yeah, yeah, you saw Light's face. He's like, hey, first place. What's going on? Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment. Let me know what your favorite set of the top eight was. If there's any matches outside of top eight that you uh, watched uh, for this event that you liked, let me know. Maybe I'll tune in and watch it and stuff like that. Because there are times where I do go back and watch uh, matches on my stream that were outside of top eight. Like, I know Light versus Cosmos happened. Um, outside of top eight, maybe I'll watch that on stream like later at uomorrow or like you know some at some point.
But congratulations once again to Light. I'm proud of you, homie. Always got my support. Uh, I'm gonna need to make him go. I have to convince him to go to Japan at some point because bro was like, yeah, anytime there's competition, I'll be there. Not Japan though. A lot of these events, they're very similar in the way that like, you know, a lot of, a lot of rematches, runbacks and stuff. That's why the grand finals this time around was really good because uh, Sonics and Light actually haven't played in a very long time. But typically for like the super major events and stuff, there's a lot of repeat matchups and stuff like that. So something that won't be a repeat is when NA players go to Japan for their big events because only a small portion of NA players have gone to Japan. Obviously it's a big travel, to, and like you know commitment stuff to go to Japan but Japanese players are doing it for NA as well so you know it would be nice to see the opposite um, and I would like to see light versus some of the players that we haven't been able to see him play against so like Yoshi Dora versus light sounds like a good set golden week is coming up pretty soon it's always at the like, start of May and I believe that's when Kagaribi and like some other tournament or tournaments happen in Japan during that week and it's gonna probably be really stacked so expect videos on those uh to tournaments so hopefully it's gonna be a banger so that being said chat well I, I said chat I'm so used to talking like my chat from streaming too much With that being said folks watching the YouTube video thank you guys for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night whenever this gets uploaded and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video in the future peace out